Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome back to more Shardlight. Now see, by the time you see this video, I'll actually have moved. I'll actually be in my new house, probably setting up my new fancy recording thing, place, my little hobby room, as it were, where there will be uh, better lighting and... Um, well, that's about it, really. Better lighting. And I might experiment with a new uh, uh, camera instead of the uh, webcam I'm currently using as a face cam. Quality isn't the best, I think you might have noticed. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. I thought I'd record this in advance because, uh, you know, moving takes an awful lot of time. So, uh, here we are. Uh, still walking around Wally's, the department store, and trying to work out how to get through Hoping this panel here thing fingers, here. Probably. Um... And I think I've, I've you know, before uh, the episode, uh, I just, uh, be or before I started recording, I should say, I just had a walk around and tried to see if I had missed any, you know, little hot spots, a uh, little pixel hunting thing, if that was the case. And uh, apparently it's not. Uh, and just by coincidence, uh, from clicking everything on everything, I discovered that you can actually use the shrapnel now this to open the refrigerator. As I thought. Only useful part in here is this fuse. And you get a fuse. Might as well hang on to it. And everyone loves a fuse box hunt. Uh, except there's no box here, but apparently I thought you'd have to mess around with this These thing. Don't look too complex. It just looks like the main fuse is. Blown. But if you look at it, you get the hint that of course it's just missing a fuse. So we fuse the sure fuse to the works. fuse, and boom, there we go. Now I have no idea what's coming next. Uh, although uh, uh, I was talking to uh, uh, Dave Gilbert just uh, on my way home here, just had a little Twitter DM with him, and he almost spoiled what comes next, but he didn't. So let's just head on. Here goes nothing. Over to here goes nothing territory. Shimmy, shimmy. Why does that sound so wet and weird? The sound effect. Holy crap! Wow. Okay. Well, that's. Uh, I, I should probably watch my step. I think. A bunch of old office furniture, from the look of it. This would be a nice vista point, you know, just lean back, have a beer, there's a phone. So just unplug the phone, lean back, have a beer, and look over the destroyed city. A bunch of old yeah, you don't want to have a seat, do you? No, you don't. Trying to salvage an old office chair, that's not how this shit works. Okay, so let's see here. Rubble, opening, we're supposed to go through the opening. Girder. I, I think I know I'm what's uh this used to support the structure before it collapsed. Really, you think? Yeah. Uh let's just fast forward here. We are going to do this and then we're going to hop our merry way over to the opening. Again the wet sound as she climbs. What the hell is up with that? Oh, here we go. Ooh, That's a nice that big crystal. More of a climb than I anticipated. Well you got arms the size of what? someone who has giant yes. arms. It's a nice place to be sure. I wonder if there was once a raven in there. You think? I have a feeling we're about to meet Dr. Man. Reminds me of the one in the rebel hideout. Messy. Someone should really clean this place up. Apparently an artist lives here. Artists don't clean up. What is going on here? Why does he have a mushroom in a jar? I had something like this when I was a kid. A jar of dirt where bugs lived. It's hardly the same thing. That's a fucking mushroom. That's a I raven. I hope. Which is why it's suspended by fucking wires. Amy, come on. You're not that delirious yet, are you? An old radio and some kind of electronic music equipment. I'm Ooh, sure for making fat beatsies. For parts. So my fucking leg is falling asleep. Jeez, I'm, I'm bent at a weird angle here because we threw out our bed, so I'm actually just sitting on a mattress on the floor recording this. Fancy, I'll show you later. Uh, so I know all about squatting, which apparently is what this dude is doing. I guess this is the Reaper's base of operations. What do you base that on? At this point, you don't know who the fuck this dude is yet. We haven't looked at anything that would... Even though I have a pretty clear idea that this is in fact the Reaper... A oh, mushroom. Weird. I wonder what these are mushroom, for. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. And why are you dissecting uh -huh. ravens? Just because, what I thought. Because they're, they're mechanical. mechanical. Yes. I knew that. Fucking knew that. These look like security monitors. What are they doing here? Uh, securing shit, I would think. Anatomy, infectious diseases, biology, quite a collection. Full of lots of unmarked bottles. I wonder what they're for. Well, nothing much to do here. Except be surprised when the fucking... Wow, he can do that? That's pretty nifty. He's got a flying suit, too. 
Hi, Mr. Reaper. Um, yeah, let's just ah, walk up to him. Amy Willard. Well, he is me. kind of friendly, I, I suppose. You would. How did you? I realize you probably have many questions. Yeah, I, I do. Can give you all the answers you need. But first, first of all, what's with the superhero getup? myself more presentable. Then he strips naked but keeps the mask on. Turns around, it's Daddy. So you well, are obviously him. it's not, but yes. I'm sorry Hi. to disappoint you if you were expecting more. I don't beak, know what perhaps. I was expecting, to be honest. Ugh, ugh, it's kind of hard to walk around in that costume, isn't it? I mean, he looks like he's really making an effort. So you're a doctor of ravens. You told me you were a doctor. Yes, Dr. Edwin Aquino. At your Aquino! Service. I was once the leader of the Green Lung Vaccine Development Team. Cool, do you have any? After learning about their vaccine distribution, or lack thereof, that quickly changed. Yeah, they're not terribly you know, good you at that. about the vaccine hoarding? Why didn't you tell anyone? Because flight that suit. started violent riots. It's not fair to begin a civil war when it would end without a cure for the illness. I well, they could just break something. in and take it and it distribute it evenly, to. but apparently your view of uh, humans right. is not that... You didn't think the people deserved then to again, know? Then again, neither is mine. And they will. Oh, but well. not while we only have a vaccine and not a cure. Oh, so you're holding cure, up. Okay. The aristocracy's so. hoarding becomes irrelevant, and the focus will be on eradicating the disease. So you're just waiting while people are dying to hoard all that shit. That's, uh, you're, uh, kind of a douche at this point. Why the mechanical ravens? What are they Maybe doing? I'm just not into politics, but... inventions, wouldn't you say? They have so you can make electronic ravens, but you can't transmitters in fucking beaks. control a riot. I use them as scouts, since I can control them remotely. Did you make them? No. Good one, Mr. Tinker Toy. A long time ago. In any case, they've served me quite well. At least the ones that haven't broken. Okay, so he didn't make I have them. Very he few just left, which is going to be a found them at some point. You've been following me with your birds. Why am I of such interest to you? I was hoping to you catch you in the shower. Job for the Ministry of Energy. That's right. What of it? You've it was pretty bad. <laughs> You're fighting to survive. You're clever and resourceful. Exactly what I need. Now crawl into this what cage. Do you need? After I left the Ministry of Medicine, I began my attempts at developing a permanent cure for Green Lung. Oh, cool. You're back in my cool process, book now. Which took over ten years. You're but out of my cool book month, again. I had a breakthrough and was able to make this. Holds up a dildo. Is that? Yes. No. This is the cure for Green Lung. Oh, and now you're just sitting on that. And it seems to work, but I need How to How have you been testing it? Aside from that, I don't have the information necessary to mass produce the cure. Though I suspect Tiberius keeps it somewhere in the Ministry of Energy. The mass, the means so to mass produce it is just. We're both fugitives, Amy. I can't put myself at risk by going to the places I need. You do realize people have started a cult around you, right? My research will evolve. What's uh, nothing. What's your deal with you that? You can clearly take care of yourself. I saw how you handled things at Rockwall Prison and Willowdale Plaza. Yeah, thanks for you that, by the way. Me out both of those times. I merely provided some assistance. Your survival was your own doing. Now I realize it's a bit much to ask, but your help would be incredibly valuable, not just to me, but to hey, the Hey, you know what? I'm missing friends it's and uh, really my leg out. hurts, and I you know. My life after all. Okay, you, fine. I appreciate it. The main thing I need is to find out where Tiberius is keeping my research on mass production. At some control point, C, I'll control also need V. A subject to test the cure on, so I can be absolutely sure it works. Do you have any questions? Yes, plenty. Uh, where do you get a dress your size? About your subject, can I try the cure? I'd like to, but it's far too risky. You're you know, a cautious motherfucker, aren't you? Right now, if this proves to have any adverse side effects, I'll be without your help. Once ah, I, can I once made an album called I'll Adverse Side so Effects. Careful. Random useless trivia. You wear strange clothes for the do for a doctor. Well, he kind of does, but anyway. Can you tell me anything about Tiberius? Quite a bit. I've known him for a very long time. Since before the bombs, in fact. Was there anything specific you wanted to know? Yeah, why is he such a dick? What was Tiberius like before the bombs? He was the director of the Ministry of Energy. Of course, back then he wasn't calling himself Tiberius. He was just Julian. After society collapsed, he took the initiative to reform like a and establish the aristocracy. 
His love for history led him to adopt the alias of Tiberius, as well as insisting the other aristocrats take the name of ancient Roman emperors. Why does he wear that awful mask? Anonymity. He felt government leaders are more respected as an institution. That's not the correct spelling, people. is it? I can't deny that this approach or, or have I been wrong all this time? Of anonymity. I thought it was with a Y, but anyway. Was he always so evil? Oh yes. I wouldn't call him that. Kind of a dick, really. Yes. You know, at school Rupert he used to trip people and but not pee evil. on them. He suffered immense trauma on the day the bombs fell. Which is why he Everything keeps a fetus in a jar. Not all of us had the wealth to recover so easily. Tiberius lost both his wife and unborn child. Fucking called day. it! Wealth or not, Fetus in a jar! It, hard. it left him quite... Honestly, I was just kidding, but he's honest, got a fetus in a jar. To rebuild and he's society talking to it. rooted in trying to cope with his loss. In a way, I felt pity for him. Perhaps too much. Yeah, what definitely too much. That? Nothing. Never mind. You gave him a hand job, didn't you? Strange for him to have a soothsayer for an assistant. How is he qualified? Oh, he isn't. Superstition is a very powerful force. I'm living proof of that. I never yeah, had you seem to be enjoying having a cult build up around you, don't you? came from somewhere outside the city. Tiberius finds comfort in being able to have a channel to the supposed other side. While I don't share his beliefs, I can't particularly fault him for having them. Okay, then. That's all for now. Fair enough. How can we find the mass production information? Ideally, I could use my ravens to go in and locate it, but I only have three working ones left. And as you're well aware, Tiberius's tower is huge. It would take way too long for only three ravens to scan the entire place without being detected. Could I take a look at one of them? Of course. Who did you say? <laughs> Holds it right up to her fucking face. The Ministry of Knowledge. But that was ages ago. I know very little about their design. A uh, friend, eh? Complex, the ellipses actually. are kind of suspicious. You, no problem. You can? Sure. Yeah, See this mechanic. Here? That's the servo. The part that controls the wings. It's worn out, so I just need to replace it with a new one. Are those common? Would we be able to find one or more in the Sure, city? if we find a well, 1979 BMW. Toy airplanes that my friend had when we were kids. Because, we you know, anything some, can come from a 1979 BMW. In my mind, at least. Mm -hmm. I'm not a mechanic. I wonder... Then he just fucking shoots it off. Yes, excellent. As I suspected, there's a hobby shop which has remained that mostly was fast. intact further in the city, and I can see that they have several model airplanes. You just type that in in, in Raven Google. Just go hobby shop. Yes, but Boom. the store is located in the quarantine zone. Oh, good. I've always well, wanted to I visit. Have to worry about. I'm already infected. You contracting green lung isn't my concern. It's how you're going to get back out. <laughs> That's pretty spunky, though. Hey, I've already got a death sentence. I'll escaping. wander in there, no problem. I can find a way in. I'll just have to find a way out, won't I? Ideally, the same way Fine. in, While out. While you're there, see if you can bring someone back with you. <laughs> someone who has been quarantined will make an ideal subject to test the cure on. I'll see what I Actually, didn't do. we know a bunch Good. of people who Take already had then. green lung? Oh, wait, Denby. And he got stabbed to bits. A two-way communicator. They used to call them walkie-talkies. Oh, cute. We can use them to stay connected while you're in there. I'll just get to it, then. Good oh. luck, Amy. Hop By to the it. way, that doorway back there will allow you to get up and down the tower much easier than climbing. Can I just borrow your wingsuit? Oh, okay, never mind. I don't have to pick anything up, do I? No? Why can't I ask him why he keeps mushrooms in jars? Maybe that's for... Maybe that's personal time. All right, off we go. Reaper's Lair, um, Hobby Shop, fuck are you? Quarantine Zone! Oh, I could just fucking go there. Nice. Hi. Um, are you ill? You want to come with me? I've got a special project for you. Excuse me. Huh? What do you want? Um. I need to get inside the quarantine zone. <laughs> huh. You know, I think that's the first time I've ever heard anyone well, say Well, I'm kind that. of insane that way. <laughs> Why would you want to go into the quarantine zone? There's nothing in there except the sick and dying. My kind of people. So that's, uh... Ooh, do we really want to... Uh, yes. Why I've not... Got green lung. Let's just Is go. I'm just so? gonna go, lie down, me. and that die. Be, but I can assure you I've got it. Look. My orders are to take people in who are at the terminal phase, and you clearly aren't. So unless you can prove otherwise, 
My hands are tied. Oh, My so that's what she's doing with that if thing. I I with the cart. I was sick. I she was moving stuff in and out or sure for some reason why she's not wearing a mask and what is up with this. Okay, so I have to find proof that I'm deathly ill. Okay, now, Danton, you have got to have something interesting to say to this. What is it, Amy? Time for me to go. Fucking <laughs> If you need a place to hide, you can All right. come back here. She is arguably the most useless rebel leader it has ever been my misfortune to gaze upon. My god, she just stands around here all day, does nothing, farts in this dude's face, and gives no helpful advice whatsoever. Maybe my new best friend will have something interesting to add to this. Even though I, I don't recall her being particularly interested in the Reaper. Oh, wait. Why didn't it hit me until now? Uh, I know a bunch of people who'd be very interested that I've met the Reaper. But Excuse okay, me. let's just see if she what? has anything interesting. I'll just be on my way. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't... Complete brain fart there. I think I have an idea of where I'm supposed to go. Hi guys! Guess what? <laughs> guess who I met? You'll never guess who I bumped into. Excuse me? Yes? Have a good day. Fuck! <laughs> May death come to you swiftly, fellow seeker. <laughs> Not two shits were given that day. Not a single fuck was given. <laughs> anyone? What is anyone I? interested? I'll speak to you later. Anyone at all? I look forward to it. No? No? <laughs> okay. You? Hi, Ellie. Hello, Amy. I'm going to go now. No. We'll talk later. <laughs> Have a blessed day. Okay, so they clearly had nothing to add to this, uh, this bite. <laughs> I mean, I should, I, I, could, I could be kind of like a prophet or something. Hey, I have an insight with uh, the Reaper dude. Okay, so now I really don't know what I'm supposed to do. No one seems to give two flying shits about my new friend. Um... So I'm, I'm guessing that um, whatever I have to do is either here or at the Wally's department store. I don't think I should get too close. And I really can't work out in my little brain what I'm supposed to pick up that could uh, identify me as very ill. None of this shit, right? I can't just waltz into the Ministry of Medicine and uh, just say, Hi, by the way, you don't know me. You're not actually looking for me. Can I just have a copy of my Oh Shit, I'm Going to Die certificate? For some reason, I can still take the long way around and get back to the Reaper's uh, uh, den this way. I'm not entirely sure why. Um, is she just... Crawling infinitely? Did I break the game? All I can hear is the sound effect, the squishy, wet sound effect of her climbing and nothing is happening. I just clicked and now I just hear walking. Oh cool, her sprite turned off. Excellent. I'm invisible! What an interesting contraption. I wonder if I'd be able to make one of my own. Why do you need one? You're invisible. Oh, okay, I I have seriously broken the game. Uh, even going to a new location, Amy's sprite disappears. But look, her shadow is walking around. Hmm. That's uh, that's intriguing. I'll bet if I save my game, it's gonna fuck up. It's gonna remember that her sprite is off because that's how AGS works. So anyway, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep playing. This is my and, way of communicating directly with the Reap I mean, Doctor. And hopefully, there's a script command somewhere later in the game. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? That turns her sprite back on. Loud and clear. I need proof that I'm dying. A rather odd request. Yes, but if I'm going to get into the quarantine, well, it, 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 it just think I'm dawned on me that we have this walkie-talkie. I should have just, you know, asked him. Oh no, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool. Go out and see if you can find someone who has recently died of green lung. Then use your communicator to let me know. Okay. Okay, but how will I be able to tell if they died of green lung? 
Look for green sputum around the body. Ooh, sputum. There's got to be one in the, uh, uh, th how are things going on your end? Hi, how, how are the oh, kids? Yeah, all right, so, me and my invisible corp will just, corp, corpus, corp, cor whatever, we'll just head over to sector 67, there's plenty of bodies, um. Doesn't look like he's been here that long. Just another victim. Honestly, the game is crashing on me now. <laughs> that was weird. Okay, how is this guy doing? Looks is like it... he's got pustules on his wrists, and there's oh, a small okay. puddle of green goo. On the Doesn't look next green from here, but okay, this I'll. This person was definitely a victim of green lung. All right, time to call up Reaper, dude. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Are you gonna say that every time I call you? I found our patient. Excellent. Where is the body located? In Sector 67, right near that painting. I'll meet you there shortly. Fade out and please fade in sprites. That would be awesome. Now he's just gonna fly in. Yep, there he is. Poor soul. Hopefully this sight will soon be a thing of the past. Yeah, cause... Step over there. <laughs> I was just gonna say, you're not really doing much, but... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he's really taking this whole... Angel of Death thing to the next Here, level, any? Take this. What his spleen? A severed arm? Yes. Notice the pustules around the wrist. Those are the telltale signs. Now of stick that phase under of your uh it's thing. Some trickery on your part. You sleeve. Be able sleeve to is the word. This to get into the quarantine zone. Uh, Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Okie dokie, I just had to uh, replay uh, the bits. Actually, the entire bit uh, that I've done in this episode. I just had to replay it to get the sprite back because that apparently was very much gone for the rest of the game. And I think we're about to do something cool with a severed arm, so I would desperately not want to, uh, you know, uh, deprive us of all the interesting animation that is bound, bound to come into. Can I just click this on my own? No? Do I show her the severed arm? Excuse me. Yeah? What is it? Take a look at this. It's oh, my geez. third arm! You are kidding. We have to get you inside. Climb oh, she up just on the card here she and just, let's get a move on. Oh, what a letdown. She didn't even <laughs> Okie dokie. Wow. Nice place. Place. Does that say babies? Probably not. Well, well. Hi. Fresh uh, meat. Uh, uh, do you want to throw party. me on the Welcome fire? You're you gonna eat me? Now, shut up. Okay, I wasn't Boys. saying anything. Jesus, get the fuck off me! What are you? So this is how things are going to work. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. kick that dude in the balls, and I'm gonna make you shut the fuck up, bitch. And take anything we like. Once we do that, you don't follow us or ever talk. How about you kiss my fucking ass? Curl up wherever you want and wait until you do. Anything good on her? Yeah. Uh, stop touching radio, me, please. Baseball bat, a piece of metal, and a severed arm? That's Dave Gilbert, oh, isn't it? It's always the clean ones. Yeah, it is. Freaks. Let her keep her little toy. Take the rest. Fuck Let you. Let go of me. I'm gonna shoot a fucking crossbow right between the tits of you. Enjoy your stay while you can. Eat my dick. I was about to say, except I haven't got one. Okay, what a warm welcome to the quarantine zone. That was interesting. So we met Reaper Dude, and uh, and we carved off an arm. Actually, we had him carve off, carve off an arm, and we made uh, Amy invisible. So uh, I'll say that's uh, all in a good day's work right there. Uh, so um, I'm just going to leave the episode here. This is going to be interesting. Having a walk around the old quarantine zone. People are so friendly. Maybe they'll invite me to a barbecue. Oh, look, they've already got one going. Burning fucking bodies. All right, cool. I wonder if it uh, needs a little ketchup or something. Anyway, got to leave the episode here. Uh, next uh, episode you'll see from me will most likely be at my new kingdom palace with uh, proper lighting, maybe even proper uh, face cam vid, who knows? So, uh, anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. It's kind of uh, itchy. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do, but do leave me a comment because I dearly, dearly love the comments. And until next time, I shall see you around the Chrono stream. Uh,